world leaders, including Vice President Kamala Harris, are in Germany for an annual security conference. I am here to ensure that through our discussions and the discussions I will have with other of our allies, that we continue as these hours and days progress to stay in close contact. And while the agenda is jam-packed, all eyes are on the tension between Russia and Ukraine, especially with new reports Russia is mobilizing its nuclear forces. There's a new war impending right in the middle of Europe. Russia issues an absolutely unacceptable threat with their troops build up. In addition to the vice president, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and quite a few members of both houses of Congress are in Munich to attend. Friday morning, global news agency Interfax reporting the Russian military says its nuclear forces will begin an exercise over the weekend, saying it will include multiple missile launches and Putin will be overseeing them. It was already scheduled, but now it's a cause for concern. Any Russian attack or further incursion into Ukraine would not, not only ignite conflict, it would also violate the bedrock principles of national sovereignty territorial integrity, and self-determination. But security experts are hopeful an upcoming meeting between Blinken and Russia's foreign defense minister will keep an invasion from happening this weekend. The State Department told Russia that meeting is off the table if Russia invades. And their hope is if they keep Putin talking, the invasion won't happen. We are doing everything we possibly can to make clear that there's a diplomatic path. Blinken has taken the strategy of laying his cards on the table and publicly announcing intelligence about what Russia is up to. I think it's very important for us to shine a light on what we see. Perhaps that will um, move Russia to a, to a different path. But as Russian forces continue to grow, the fear is they will attack. My sense this will happen in the next several days. We've been hearing that for a while now. The New York Times is reporting the Biden administration knows it's hurting credibility, but it's something they're willing to do if it keeps Russia from invading. Straight from D.C., I'm Annie Anderson.